So we just got done eating at uh, the Enna. We're in Ennis, and we just got done eating at a bar and grill. The bar and grill. There's a brewery there. What was the brewery? Dead Tree. De Burnt Tree. Burnt Tree. Fantastic. The beer was. Egg We're from Oregon, so we know beer. Their beer is top notch. And I had the hard cider, which was from Ranch Hands out of Missoula, Montana. Huh? It was very good. Food was excellent. Just a cool little town. I mean, it's just a neat. Every is. You can tell you're in a good town when like there's four buildings of real estate dedicated to real estate. Yeah. People must want to live here. Kim was saying it's the halfway point between Yellowstone and Glacier. Yeah. So if you like fishing, they said it's a drinking town with a fishing problem. There's a storm up early. All right, so we're in Virginia City. Montana, which is now going to be my favorite city of all time <laughs> because this is where they had breweries back in the 1860s from German immigrants uh, competing and only one brewery left standing from what the uh, thing said. So check out this old western town brewery. That's just awesome. If you like history or whatever. This is just so cool to have an old, I mean, this is it. I mean, they were drinking beer in here in the 1860s. Montana Territory's oldest brewery, founded in 1863, is today a rare example of once common small town breweries. That's awesome. 1863, the brewery was closed to prohibition in 1919. Wow. That is too cool. That's just insane. Any of you guys that like Westerns, this is uh, legit. That Christian Richter, which is Henry Gilbert's partner in the brewing business, built a home on the site in 1864 and soon added a stone wing, which is that right there. Whoa. Few changes have occurred to the three-part residence since the 1870s. Whoa, even you can see in there. Even the fancy trim and periodic screen door, period screen doors remain in place. There were 15 children in this home. It's almost Halloween time, and this is freaky as. You're just glad it's not uh, nighttime because I'd be freaking out right about now. Gilbert Check it out. When his wagon overturned and pinned him underneath. Several of his sons carried on the brewery business until it closed in 1990. Anybody Just, see a ghost in there? His wagon overturned and it killed him. Well, that's not a good way to die. Died of an overturned wagon, it sounds like. Oh, that is so Oh, babe, crazy. you can see inside right here. Oh, this is freaky, man. Did he let you walk in here? Dude, you can go in it. I'm not going in. Oh my, dude, they let you. Oh. Whoa, people. This is crazy. They didn't say keep out. So I'm keeping in. Look at this old house, you guys. I cannot believe they would let people come in here. There's holes in the ground. Babe. Yeah, hey, I'm at this window. Hey, there's holes in the ground that you could fall in and die. Hey, you taking a picture of me? Hi. Oh, babe, they got no piano in here. Dude, this is such a trip. I cannot believe they let you just walk through this with all this old equipment. I can't believe nobody's coming here and just vandalized the heck out of it, which is awesome that they haven't, but. Oh, dude, you have to. There's ghosts. Scary. Didn't you say they had 15 kids? And they just, why would they let you just walk through this place? It's wide open. They had, didn't have a door on the lock or anything. It looks like they're selling pieces. Like, this is absolutely freaky, man. Hey, why are you scared? <laughs> 
<laughs> I wonder if you can walk through any of the other buildings. How come they don't let you walk through the brewery? I don't know why they don't have that brewery open. That would be, I would sit there all day long if I could sit in that brewery. Oops, Dude, sorry. that was awesome. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta admit. Oh. You have to admit that was pretty awesome. Dude, this is like the perfect time of year. Too. Dude, you got the crunching leaves. If it was nighttime, they should have haunted houses here. Okay, we've been in Yellowstone and Tetons for a week, and this is probably the coolest thing we've seen. So it says here that uh, prohibition ended the brewery and then they tried to uh, make root beer and cream soda for a, a point of time. Uh, so prohibition closed in 1919 and then they uh, tried to produce root beer and what have you until 1922 and unfortunately couldn't uh, continue. So when prohibition was repealed in 1933, uh, they tried again and were unsuccessful. So that's unfortunate that uh, prohibition killed off that brewery. There's a guy in there. Yeah, what do you see? Oh, what do you see? No, go in there and look in there again. No, that was Look creepy. in there. He's shaving a dude. Yeah. Oh, so they show, but look at the old, look at the old it's chairs. Like barber shop. Yeah, look at the old chairs. Oh, that's trippy. Cool old market. All right, so we are now in Nevada City, which is about a mile down from Virginia City. And uh, just like the other one, this is an old ghost town oh, it's uh, right here. from the 1800s. Um, and here's the site of where George Ives was hung. The most extraordinary trial in history. Do a little bit of research on George Ives. That's awesome that they actually have that. They actually marked it. We were just saying we wish they would mark where in the street it happened because we had seen the cabin where he was like jailed um, during the trial and then it said he was hung in the streets but we didn't we're like man they should have like an x marks the spot and here we found it they didn't say what he did um uh, now i'm gonna do a little research i assume murder i think that that's what they said they found they found a body out in the woods and found out that someone had been shot and dragged into some sagebrush oh. and then they went back oh. and started asking around there was a robbery and another maybe up in virginia city there was another uh a robbery and then somebody threw out this guy's name and then apparently he did it this event this hanging on according to the sign it says this event was the catalyst for the forming of the vigilantes so this was the first hanging and this was like kind of i guess what what got was started him. to you know got him started to create the vigilantes i guess they had a lot of outlaws and stuff coming through and causing a lot of trouble and murdering people and whatever and so somebody had to step up and they did uh, these ghost towns were we were kind of disappointed to be leaving Yellowstone a little bit early but I'm glad we did because give us a chance to come through some of these old uh, ghost towns which are really cool so we just learned because now we're interested so we're listening to <laughs> we're, we even though we make YouTube videos we also watch YouTube videos so we're listening on as we drive on and on and on and on for the next so many hours about uh, Virginia City and so they're saying that it actually has the most buildings, historic buildings from the 1800s than any other city in the West right. uh, that are, are still in preserved. Their original, in their original place. Right. So that Nevada City, is the, the buildings along there were actually moved from other places, some were from Yellowstone, other places in Montana that were in danger of being destroyed or whatever, that somebody came in and collected those buildings, you know, purchased them, um, said they even you know had taken some down like basically to the studs and rebuilt them along in Nevada City. But Virginia City is all original. All those buildings are front in their original spot. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you ever get a chance to, uh, if you like the old west and 
want to learn about uh, some of that history, definitely stop by Virginia City. It's during COVID now, so unfortunately a lot of stuff was closed. We went to one of the bars, which is pretty neat, but because um, the building's still there, but it would be really cool once they uh, open it all up. They do reenactments and stuff, some history reenactments. So if you go to Yellowstone and you just happen to be heading through the west entrance, uh, definitely make a stop through uh, Ennis and um, Virginia City. They're definitely worth a stop. Really cool little towns. Uh, you can spend a whole day there just exploring all of that. Glad we left early today from Yellowstone because we wouldn't have time otherwise and we wouldn't even have known that they were there. We just happened to drive by and, and noticed them. So we got lucky uh, in that regard. So be uh, happy that you view our videos because we're giving you tidbits that you may not know otherwise because nobody told us about these cool cities. Nope. So yeah, definitely stop by if you like uh, old Western history. It's pretty cool.